Hello and welcome to part 10. So let's take a look at how we can transfer these trigger values into animations using the animation blueprint. So we have these values here and we want to access them on the animation blueprint. So if we open that up and switch to the event graph, we can see we are getting transforms for the positions here. So we want to do something similar for the trigger values. So let's drag that up and get trigger L and promote that to a variable with the same name. So inside the animation graph right now we only have this play third person idle post coming in and we want to override the hints for this third person idle animation if you remember from one of the previous videos you will see that one of the I think it was the right hand is fairly relaxed and okay looking while the other one was kind of curled up so there's a difference between the two hands in that animation. So we want to completely override the way the hands look. And we, we're going to do that by using uh, the node called blend per bone. So this one is going to be the idle animation. It's going to be the base pose. And then we want to blend in both the left and the, the right hand here and we want to do this completely so I'm going to leave the blend weights at one for both of them and for this note while having this selected you want to add uh, or specify uh, branch filters here call this the hand L and this one add a member and call this hand so these two names I give them here, they come from the skeleton, so you want to match them up completely. You don't have to match up the, if there's a lower or uppercase, but it's a hand L and it's a hand R. So now that that is set up, we want to make use of another blend per bone node. And this one is going to be the left hand. So you want to add a branch filter here and just type in hand L and connect that up to the top one. And let's fix up the first one here, the left hand first. Now the blend weight is going to be the trigger L. We drag that in here. So if this is zero, then it's going to use the base pose. So the base pose, we're going to use the hand relaxed animation. And for the blend pose zero, we're going to use hand closed. So you might remember the animations that we did were curling up both hands, so both of the hands were closed or open. But since we blend per bone, and then we're only going to take the hand L into consideration here using this trigger alpha value here. So that's the way it works. So we're going to duplicate this for the right hand. And connect that up to the right hand, blend pose 1. And all we need to do here is to rename this bone name to be hand R. And obviously replace this trigger L with trigger right. And then we can connect that up to the pose here. Like that. 
So let's save this and compile and take a look at how it looks. As you can see now, the hands, or maybe you can't hear me, but the hands are straight, both of them now. And when I gradually pull the trigger, you're going to see the hands curl up. Okay, and one more thing that you might have seen when I was uh, wearing the headset was that um, when I was grabbing um, one of the cubes, when I was not completely curled up with the hand um, and tried to lift it, it didn't pick it up. But once I was holding it all as a fist, meaning that the trigger was all held in, then I could, could pick it up. And that was the stuff that we made in the previous video, I believe, or one of the previous ones. Uh, so that was also a test of that. Um, so I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you in the next. Bye bye.